I figured there was room for all of us, for Lou Gossett, for Raymond St. Jacques, for G. Godfrey Cambridge, for uh, Billy Dee Williams. There was room for all of us, and there was. So we, we never felt competitive, and that was a blessing, I tell you. Well, I think usually there's the, the turning point that's very public and very acknowledged in you know, Newsweek magazine and whatever. And then there's, the, there's those turning points that nobody notices. And uh, at first, the blacks was one of those uh, quiet turning points. It became to be acknowledged later on as, as the production you know, went on year after year. But it included, I remember meeting with, um, with the producer. She said, James, I'm worried, except for Roscoe Lee Brown. I don't know whether I can gather a, a group of black actors who can handle um, um, not classical language, but she handle language that doesn't have an ethnic, uh, you know, street twist or uh, rural, rural twist. She was not, not sure she could find the actors who were, who were uh, trained vocally for that kind, you know, for speech. Um, and I said, I said, well, you, she was include, in challenging me too. I, I said, well, you might not be able to, but um, you start with Lee, start with Roscoe, and I think you might, you might, you know. And she did. She she built a cast around Roscoe um, that could handle language. I remember Roscoe and I were referred to as fine mummers in one of the reviews. <laughs> there were these two fine mummers. Uh, uh, but she did gather a group of actors who can handle language, and that was kind of a phenomenon. That we weren't playing sharecroppers. That we weren't playing street dudes. You know, we were playing people of the world. Uh, and the fact that it had some relevance to the, the movement at that time, the civil rights movement, and doing some acknowledging uh, the danger of racism. And Janae was very clever. He, he wasn't saying the whites were bad. He was saying, and the blacks were victims, he was saying any race who takes on a superior position is going to be threatened by the other race taking on And it could flip, flop, flip, flop, and we never get anywhere, you know. And, uh, it was, it, was, it was an important message at the time. It's a play that's difficult to do now because uh, the, that, that play then tapped into the, um, the um, sense of conscious, uh, America's conscience. And I don't think that conscience exists uh, as healthily as it did then. It's a, we would be too cynical for that play to work. That's a tough one because uh, the critic is there uh, as a as a an operative in in, in that industry. Uh, he's supposed to have a job that helps make the industry work. He's supposed to inform people what's worth seeing, what's not worth seeing, according to his opinion. Or he's a, or if you if you're Kenneth Tynan, he's supposed to tell you what you tried to do and how well you succeeded. <laughs> uh, and that's that's very valuable. Uh, uh, but I I learned early on. I think I was doing a play with. Uh, J.D. Uh, J. Uh, Cannon, who was one of the uh, actors in the, the McLeod series, you know. Um, and J.D. said, uh, look, Jimmy, yeah, we're going to op open tomorrow night. Would you do me a favor? Don't tell me what the critics said. I can't handle it. I said, what? You can't handle it? You know, uh, uh, what, if, if they're good, can I tell you? He said, no, I, especially when they're good. Because Whatever they say is going to distort your ability to go on stage the next, the next night and do the work you should do. If they say you were good, you're out there trying to, trying to be good. You're out there trying to, what did I do that was so good? And you're d distracted. If, you, if you're bad, you're totally defeated. Your, your ego is deflated, and you're, and you're distracted. He says, I'd rather not know. And I decided at that moment that uh, I'd do the same thing. I, I'd not read them anymore. I let my, my wife read them and my, my agent read them, and if it was something I should, I should know, they would interpolate for me. But I would not read that person's opinion. Uh, and, 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 and it reminded me of one of, the, one of the two books we were encouraged to read that had nothing to do with show business. <clears throat> one was the Zen of Ar Archery, the art of, uh, Zen and the Art of Archery. The other was uh, Rilke's uh, To a Poet, it's a series of essays and letters to a poet. And Rilke had said, uh, to this young poet, I, I sense what you're doing. You, you're writing for the critics. You're writing to hope to please the critics. He says, that'll never work because they're not pleasable. 
you can much right to please yourself. And then they might be pleased, you know, <laughs> but only the, they're, they're secondary to what you do. Uh, and so th th this, this all began to fall, fall into place for me, and, um, and, and I, I respect what critics do. Um, but I, I don't, the, the, their work is, trails mine. I mean, I've, I've done my work and I must keep looking ahead, not, not behind it, at some re reflection. I have not been able to, to, to lap off the, uh, the Paul Robeson controversy. I, I write about it in my book a little bit. Uh, it's still painful, but at least what has happened, Avery Brooks now takes the same production, exact same words, and uh, presents it to the public. And it's a glorious production uh, and no controversy. I just, I just happened to, to get in Paul, Paul Jr.'s way at the wrong time. And he 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 uh, concocted the social apparatus to bring the production down. Uh, he was behaving in a way that he he had, you know <laughs> the young playwright uh, Philip Hayes Dean said he's he's acting like a McCarthyite himself now you know. But you know you, uh, victims of, of tyranny learn from the bad guys. I mean you see it in Israel, you see it in, in black people. I mean if you learn from the bad guys, uh, you end up doing what they do. I really don't know, because I didn't, I didn't, I sort of, I, I, I ambled into this, so therefore I, 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 didn't, I didn't record what works and what doesn't work, you know. So, um, and given that, I don't know if we, if we ever learn from history anyway, you know. Uh, you got to learn it for yourself. Given that, I think every actor has to find out what, what works for himself. And, and I, I'm hesitant to advise young actors because their world is so different from mine. From mine. You know, how you approach it, how you approach an audition is very different. Um, I think they, they, they have to dress up more because we're, we're talking about imagery in movies more than we're talking about stage. I think you have to come on with an image. Be, you have to be an image. You, you have to dress the role much more than we ever thought of doing. We, we, we'd be embarrassed by that. You know, the idea that a blonde, uh, brunette woman with uh, dye hair Blonde just to, to, for an addition, probably not unheard of in in, in, the, in the Hollywood situation. You know. And uh, the 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 business of training, uh, training is very difficult, uh, very different now. I think you have to you have to learn the basics. You have to learn something more than just acting. You have to learn uh, how to behave, how how to how to fill your space on stage or in film. You learn the difference also that this the the film space is is. is Inner, inner space, but you got to fill it. I mean, watch Paul Newman, he, and he, he is jam-packed, you know, <laughs> in a very small area of his face. It's, it's all the energy that I would express in my whole body, he's expressing right here. <laughs> and that, that's a hard one to learn for a stage actor. Nothing. I don't know. Because it was not about achievement, you know. Right? Uh, It's about sitting on, 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 on a path and going. Um, I would have been I would have been a good explorer. I would have been a, a good uh, you know with Lewis and Clark, because you're out there and there's nothing tell you, nothing telling you whether you're, you're successful or not. There are no no landmarks. You know you're out there walking. You know there's a, there's a place you want to get to the northwest corner of the country, but. All you can do is walk, and there's space and space. It, it must have been a wild and weird, weird world, but I, I think I, I would have fit in very well there. <laughs> I don't think I've done the role in film that I could say I leave that as my legacy. I've done it in stage, but I've not done it in film. I've not found that role yet, and I, I, I I'd like to find it. You know, it's, n it's not too late. I, 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 I'm still learning the art of film acting. And um, once I learn it, I might find it and do it before I retire, you know. But uh, that, that's not something I, I, I need to do. That's something I, I'd like to do. I want to rebuild uh, a world similar to the one I came out of. Uh, we had the Mississippi River, and we had, <clears throat> in flood time, you could walk out in the, in the mud puddle, you see catfish. When the, when the 
flood subsided. The catfish lying in the puddles, you know. I, I want to rebuild a world that that is self-sufficient again. You know, I'm I'm digging a, le a little lake now, three-acre lake. I want to stock it with fish, and uh, I want I want to rebuild that self-sufficiency that I knew as a child. You know, and that's got nothing to do with show business. <laughs>
Yeah, every urban Canadian has to have the dacha or a little shack out in the woods, you know. But, um, I mean, we, I mean, we rush so fast to get to the city uh, that I don't think people know that they want to get back out again yet. You know? I don't know if that's an American dream uh, or, the, or that you'd call it an American dream. It's, it might be a human dream. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think there are problems we have to solve. If you want to call that our dream, you know, we, we, solutions are dreams, yeah.